The views, comments, and opinions of the following program do not necessarily reflect those of Morris Media Studios, MorrisMediaLive.com, or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. The views, comments, and opinions of the following program do not necessarily reflect those of Morris Media Studios. Double Street Wave Radio. Get your phones out right now. Double Street Wave Radio. Tune in right now, right now. Tune in right now, right now. Right now, right now. Right now, right now. Come on. So pick up your phone and call. Come on. Miss Bossy gon' answer your call. Yeah. Stay connected like Wi Fi. Dip the wave, dip the wave. Live them like bye bye. is not your typical show. I'm not your typical host, but you know like mud sucking Bruce Leroy, I got the glow. That's how a drunk rapper rap y'all off coffee. <laughs> What's up y'all? Global Street Wave in the building today. Feeling real good, feeling real high like I'm Snoop Dogg and Wiz Khalifa at the same damn time. Matter of fact, I'm feeling like Jesus. Shouts out to all the Christians on the Sunday that was praising the Lord today. Did you pray for me? Like real talk, cause you know I'm crazy. I know y'all Christians be watching my show. And y'all know I represent the African, not Bambada, though, because y'all heard what he did to the kids. But, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm about the comedic knowledge. But I still need my Christians, you know what I'm saying? That's my background. I still need y'all to pray for me because that Christian prayer work, yes, it do. I was healed in the name of Jesus when I had my kidney issues. Yeah, we starting off with the church because after that, I'm going to be acting a straight stone cold nut Steve Austin. Yeah, body slamming this big skit. See, I ain't disrespect Jesus. I said biscuit. What's up, y'all? Global Street Wave in the building. Feeling really excited. You know, I've been promoting all the movies and all that stuff. Ain't nothing slowed down, but I'm on some produ- producing, producing, producing stuff right now. So I will be uh, promoting a movie. Uh, we've been working with King Soul. Got a couple of people in the building, also a part of it. And um, I have a young, lovely lady. I guess I'll introduce her now. Uh, let's give a big, warm welcome and hand clap. Yay! <laughs> Danny C in the building, y'all. What it do? So, Danny C., you're also into radio. You were over there with Mr. Buck. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. We did work. I worked with Buck on Everybody Radio for okay. a couple of years. It was amazing. But like yes. you said, his untimely death, we, you know, that, that was a shocker to us. Yes, it hit it us. It hit us hard. But, yes, yes I've been doing radio basically since I graduated high school. Okay. It was my major when I um, went in at Long Beach City College. So I used to oh. DJ that radio station over there oh, cool. back in the 90s. Like, yeah, I've That's been around for a minute. About. So... I took a step away from that and started doing my music. So, That's you know. Right. Oh, so you do some music now, too? Yeah, right now? yeah. Okay, we do have, Woody go by? Yogi. And who was that? Yogi is uh, Yogi from Punch Entertainment. Yeah. He's my everything. I was waiting for her to say that. I was like, she was supposed to say uh, my husband. I was waiting for her to say but that. But you know, I'm going to anyway, do the business first. No, but no, yeah. it's all good. But we yeah. got Yogi in the building is what I was going to Yeah, Yogi is definitely in the which building. Which is her lovely uh, husband. Y'all know I talk about a lot of stuff. I got some things I want to talk about, y'all. And uh, we've been doing the movie King Soul. And uh, yesterday we had the table read. So I'm like, you know what? I need Danny to come over to the show. Because y'all know I'll be all over the place on this. I'm going to get me a couple of husbands and all this crazy shit. She's not a single uh, woman like me out here messed up. I'm still looking for love in all the wrong places. Nah, I represent <laughs> I that black love, places. you know. Going down on my crap. Oh, my bad was that. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyways, we want, I want to talk about who's a better cheater, women or men. And we're going to bring Yogi on here a little later, y'all. And I wanted to, uh, we got movies about that. You mentioned. Uh, Two can play that game. And I had mentioned uh, how to be the player on my paper and the boomerang. And, with yes. With different cheaters. But the two can play the game was a good one because it's, we're talking about women. Right. And Vivica Flox. Yes. And it wasn't so much about cheating, but she thought he was. And in the game she was playing to get him to do what she wanted him to do, which that's a, you know, that's a skill women all y'all should have. Yes, you know? exactly. Well, actually they do. A lot of them got sugar. They yeah. get to holes. Y'all give y'all money to a pimp. But, you know, you got these sisters that just be pimping on these niggas. Yeah. And, these and got these men, married men, buying them all this nice but shit. But it's just, to me, some my kind thing of is, like, the sugar daddies, unless he look like 50 or Thank something, you, like I, I said, you can't be doing, I mean, I I is it worth it? You got to 
touch old balls. You got to you got to do stuff it. that you know you really don't you want to for that purse, for See, that for the hair. Like Did you come up dope dealing or something like me? Not like that. I kind of had my drugs, yeah, like, I, I got arrested. I've been like yeah. in So we did. Yeah. We would not mind, but you down right. I cannot get an old nigga unless he look young or something. I'm not finna no old ass <laughs> motherfucker trying to kick He got to be fly. And then, then you get one Thank that's fly, think he fly. He want a younger bitch than you. You ain't even fly enough for him. Fuck your hoe. It don't even work. Yeah, confidence. So another thing I want to mention what um what the um is women better cheaters than men what if women did what men do which is a lot while i was speaking on the polyandry and the polygamy and all that stuff and uh polyamorous a lot of uh men they do polygamy and they have two wives or uh, multiple wives right and then women also in other countries have multiple husbands even if it's their brother we have that discussion so that's kind of like yeah women can't do what men can do and off the subject people who say they don't have the time a lot of people are always like i ain't got time you know i'll be busy i'll be busy i was listening to i think earthquake show on uh i love earthquake show on uh kevin hart's channel uh -huh. satellite radio in the car and um I was listening to them and they was just saying real talk like you got all and then i was googling some stuff but you got all these hours in a day like, you you do have the time. It's right. time that I don't call someone back, right? And it's not that I didn't have the time. It's just why I forgot. And then by the time I thought about it, I felt like it was just too the, late. Or but I, I didn't really want to talk. And be like, yeah, that too. Yeah, that too. But we ain't talking about those moments. We're talking about people who act like they just so busy. Nigga, you ain't got no extra But you make time. My point in saying that you make time for what you want to make time and for, right? And that was the moral of the story. Yeah, that's you the make time. The story I mean, that. in the 24 hours, you set, uh, you make sure you make time for that 9 to 5 if there you, you were one of those, the 9 to 5. Ain't no there plan with that, right? So that's the... A guaranteed. And yeah, then yeah. outside of that, yeah, you got to sleep. You got to eat. But outside of them sleeping, eating, and working hours, Come you on. make time to do what you, you want to do. You call. You I'll sit up and talk to one person for two, three hours. Another person, you be like, mm. you know, you just, That's it's true. the reality. That's you so have true. to be honest about That's what it so really true. is. That's so true. Yeah. Now, um, you know, I'm up here fooling with the Facebook. Can y'all share this stuff in the group? Shouts out to Facebook, everybody watching. We are live on MorrisMediaLive.com and Carlene Corsi's Facebook. I wanted to do Brian's words from the wise first. When you said make time, I used to forget Brian's words from the wise. Uh -huh. Brian's like my sidekick. I usually sit here. Okay. He'd be slaving and working and shit. Uh, these damn events. He don't be here with me no more. But he still <laughs> sitting that words from the wise. So I want to make sure I don't forget and have the time to say right. Brian's words from the wise. You guys, uh, Brian, if you got any type of pictures of my baby, my baby daddy Brian, put them up there. <laughs> this is Brian's words from the wise, y'all. I actually had to stop, take the time, and do this now because I will forget later. I want to get Yogi up in the building. And we got some videos. I might play some of them. Uh, if I was by myself today, it would have been a video show. But uh, I got a couple people in the building with me, so we're going to do what we're going to do. And we're going to talk and have fun. So y'all buckle your seats. Open up your uh, ears, your hearts, and your minds. This is Brian Williams' words from the wise. Oh, let me put my glasses on, y'all. Hold on. I'll try to look cute with my glasses on. <laughs> I can read faster with these on. Right. On. Okay, y'all. Thank you for waiting. All right, y'all. If you find yourself in a relationship that you are not happy with and you are going through a lot of pain, whether it's physical or mental, then do yourself a big favor and get out of that toxic relationship. Real talk. So wake up and get yourself out the gutter. And lift up your spirits and mind to get away from all that negativity and embrace some positivity that you deserve. You are somebody and got to love yourself. You may have been frustrated, broken down, and messed around. Taking the highest and the drop, wait, let's say that start over. Take it to the heights and then drop down. Okay, Brian. But you can pick yourself up and put them pieces together again. Brush away your dirt and emerge stronger than ever. You may have lost a move, but not the game. And now resilience. Oh, rec and now, yeah, resilience is your middle name. Did I say that word right? Resilience. I knew I was Resilience. Right. I'm sorry. Thank uh huh. Resilience. Oh, that's resilience. Mm -hmm. Did he spell it right? Yes, he did. Okay, see, I see, I saw. I didn't know how to spell resilience. So let me say that again. See, thank you, sister. You better know a little something to be saying here. Girl, I was the first to killer to be. I'm and, and, oh, you, to be that's champ. what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And now resilience is your middle name. Y'all don't be talking about I can't read either, damn it. Fuck y'all. <laughs> okay, so that's Brian Wars and the Wise. Now, right quick, Big Nuke. Let's get Big Nuke up there, y'all. Um, shout out to Rick Hard, gave me a call week or so ago and let me know that um, Big Newt was um, called home, as the Christians would say, with the mighty Lord and Jesus Christ. Uh, but, uh, no, nah, real talk, we, um, 
I don't want to say lost a, a, another one or a real one because uh, regardless, his energy was a great energy on earth. Last I seen uh, Nuke on his page, uh, his real name is Rodney Reddick, if I'm not pronouncing it wrong. Was him with his kids, you know? It was positive. I do remember Nuke your ass snatching the microphone from me at the Jazz Cafe downtown, required <laughs> at the show. I think a bow guarded and he performed. I cussed a lot of niggas out, but I didn't fuck with Big Nuke for some reason. I didn't fuck with that nigga. <laughs> Real shit, he got right. there. But I was like, what the fuck? This nigga wasn't supposed to go. He took the microphone. We go, I don't know about that nigga. Mm. And then we was uh, doing a video with Ricard. When Ricard was doing a video, him and his son. Uh -huh. And Nuke was with us, and we was in the car chopping it up. And we was having the best of the conversations and shit. I thought we was going to hang out and smoke a few blunts or something. But uh, big, big uh, salutes. Rest in peace. Rest, rest in, in peace. heaven. Yes, definitely. However they say it to uh, Nuke. Just wanted to mention that. Yeah. About that brother. So... I mentioned as far as what we're going to talk about, what I want to do, I want to go to a break right quick. Go find the Knox for me, West Coast Swag. My cousin Dion, you know the group Caution Ice Cube had. Mm -hmm. uh, Gonzo was in the group with the Caution them. Really, my cousin Dion and Skeet, we grew up on 42nd Main and Broadway. Shouts out to everybody on the blog, selling the dope, killing everybody. No, this way. <laughs> but anyway, Skeet won the game, man. Keep Skeet out the group. They wanted, I think, I believe they wanted our cousin and guns on a rap battle for the whatever. And my cousin didn't care. He wanted to be Michael Jordan at the time. We were spoiled kids from my granny. But uh, guns on them, they ended up coming out with the caution. He wasn't a part of that caution with Ice Cube. He was the real caution when them motherfuckers was performing at the Variety Arts Centers. We was kids. They was wanting to swap me in the surplus buying car haul outfits. They was all dressed alike with Marcellus and uh, Freddie. You feel me? It was those original members, too. But all that to say, my cousin Dion, this nigga bro decides he wanted to start doing some music still. And I'm like, dang on, cuz, you sound like Buster Rhymes and shit. He from the West Coast off the porch with me. Um, and he got some nice music. I really love my cousin music. It's the point. So I was like, I'm going to play that shit on my show. I made took some pictures and created for him and threw the music with her on, a, on my YouTube channel to have a link to create the play it on the That's show today. What's up. Are we ready, Ron, for it? Did you find West Coast swag? It's in my bossy playlist. It's at the, I don't know, it says, you'll see it like a 110 and it say Knox. The little 110 freeway sign. Should be in that playlist. Huh? You don't see uh, Knox? You don't see no videos from Knox in the playlist? Don't you see all the little thumbnails for the playlist? That 9 8 playlist, right? See, I could have took a break. What video you do see? Let's play that. <laughs> and I'll go help you find it later. Because we live, and we ain't got time for me to be telling you shit late. Okay. It got you <laughs> up. It's my fault. I can't even cuss him out today. Right. You stupid motherfucker. You gonna stop there and have her eye all stuck on stupid, and you just tell him that was the first Right, video. you, you came with some play. surprise shit and thought he was supposed no, to be I, ready. No, I mentioned it to him on no. my plan. <laughs> I'm just gonna cuss myself out instead of him. Right. So, besides that, y'all, in the meantime, in between time, I do thank you guys for spending the time coming out yesterday to the King's Home Table. Oh yeah, that was that was amazing. That's really nice. that's gonna be a good that's gonna it be is. a good production. We've been talking about it all night, and yeah. I think that's it's Yogi some good. been reading his Dewan part. Yeah, he's he a been, dog ass nigga. Man. man, I just talked about that last night. I said, baby, if you Yogi, ever you thought of doing some shit like that in real life, whoa, you'd be a dead nigga. Right? Bro, I see, I got mm -hmm. it. Okay, so we <laughs> went to, you know, I had to find. I, had to, I could have improvised in the beginning, but I didn't want to. I want to. Cuss myself out once in a lifetime. Knox. Knox, West Coast Swag. We're going to do y'all. Take a quick little break. I'm going to bring Yogi up here, and we're just going to chit-chat, shoot the shit. So get your toilets ready and your toilet paper, because we about to get real stanky up in here. I'm just playing, y'all. This is my cousin Knox, is what he go by. It's called West Coast Swag. Y'all check this shit out. I like this, this uh, track. <laughs> Look, it's something about the game on life. It's easy to coach a split and niggas argue to fight. Who want likes? Instagram got y'all in depression. It's people that niggas think on the lesson. One second. You can talk a good game, but when my presence is felt, you get to bragging about yourself. I have you doubting yourself. Looking around the room like not seeing his bad. That guy mad, who got you started? Sign out, silly departed. You woke up sleeping, dying, no consequences among y'all. Psychological warfare, don't get scared yet. We scratch the surface, but deeper beneath them churches, it's cold feet. Ask yourself what's really your purpose, but don't speak. Be your own man, fuck what they say. You know how you be 
on that dumb shit yelling, make day. Who me? Look at my God, I talk to you like you a god, dude. Show me a stranger, I show him love, that's how I rock, dude. If not, never offer as you just hang it up. You want in fingers, I recommend you should change it up. The eighth corner of the world, I'm something to watch. Who told me I was that nigga? My mom's had to do it first. Do it she first. gave birth to a Cali nigga, for starters, right? Pops planted the seed, moms carried the weight. Nine seasons of coasting. Oh, I can show you how to coast it, nigga. First, West Coast love. West Coast love. Slime down a strip top, stuck in the truck. In the truck. She chick, now nah, I get those swaggers a plus. What they thought she got that South Central swagger to mom. Swagger to mom. Uh. But stay about your cream, yo. A betting God on the men in that casino. Team Duffel bag, who got what? Cold word, MGM, that's five stacks on the ducks. Yep, and celebrating Anaheim with a diva. Mike Trout swag, I make you a believer, skeezer. Fuck that, I got that Kobe swag, mine with a death. It's comp in the South Central, backwood to the neck. Bet, bet. It's comp in the South Central, it's comp in the South Central. It's comp in the South Central, backwood to the uh, neck. They like Kiki. Key. Where the fuck is she at? In Vegas fucking with knocks. How they feel about that? Feel about Double that. back, black. She heard about that West Coast swag. Affiliated swag. with Drip. I need a West Coast flag. Facts 2.0. What you asking questions for? It's knocks in the building. Get that ass on this dance floor. I'm off my two step, puffing that loud purple. Now throw that ass in the circle. Uh, circle. Uh, I only party off that la la, baby. I need some potent shit to throw this dick. Now, Shawty, what you working with? You, working you with? meet me in the back and it's going down quick. I'm off my Tupac shit. I get around I trick. Get around trick. I'm off my Tupac shit, I get around trick Now throw that ass in the circle, uh, circle uh. Now throw that ass, now throw that ass, now throw that, now throw that, uh. now throw that ass, now throw that ass in the circle, circle uh. Hurry up. Hey, we back, y'all. I had, um, see, that's what happened when I don't tell the wrong shit first. I had a rhyme <clears throat> playing the wrong track. That was Eighth Wonder. This sounded like an intro to a track. Shout out to my cousin Dion. I liked it, that West Coast shit. That was really a dope track. You like that track? Yeah, I like the beat. I like anything independent, though, really. Like, you could... You can pay all this money and put production by it and behind it and have all this shit behind you, but and be trash. A lot of shit I hear on the radio yeah. right now is trash. Yes, it is. And the independents don't really get the opportunity that they do to get, you know, really the big ones is time. supposed to put the the little ones on, right? The, but they too selfish. Yeah, exactly. They not so. gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. So shine, shout right? out to your cousin. That was hot knocks. Thank you, cuz. Thank you, cuz. Oh, for that. That was cousin as a cuz. I ain't a game banging today. I'm from Africa. <laughs> mm -hmm. You see her little top I'm today. The mother yeah. of all. Yeah, y'all see my little African mm -hmm. shirt, y'all. But don't forget about the rag on top. Yeah, I'm still, <laughs> a, I'm still game banging because I'm a West Coast swag. It's a West Coast swag with African shit. That's shit. right. <laughs> so, again, it's so lovely having um, my brother Yogi, y'all. Let's introduce Yogi. Let's give a big warm welcome Ooh. in the building. Yogi's you, a you, music you, artist, and he's an actor. You know, uh, entrepreneur. You guys have your own record label. Punch and T. It's not a label. It's a movement. A mo okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah. I've never hearing that lately. I had another little brother had the thing. He said it's a movement. I'm, that's what I'm talking about. So what's the difference between having a label and it being a movement? Well, we're doing everything under the entertainment umbrella. It's not just music. You know what okay. I'm saying? We, that's what I, I'm I wanted the company to kind of reflect what I do. You okay. know what I'm saying? And, and how I am. And I do everything under entertainment from producing to acting, okay, directing, cool. editing, mixing, mastering. Oh, you know that's what I'm mean? talking so, about. You know, we just trying to branch out through the whole the whole entertainment get down, not just music. That's you know awesome. I mean? That's good. It opens more doors for opportunities. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And it's been a great opportunity to also, um, I end up running back into y'all because I've known y'all for some years and ain't yeah. seen y'all in a while. And we've had the other meeting, the first, well, second, have many meetings because I haven't had meetings with Marciano. Shouts out to Marciano with the uh, King Soul Vision. Yes. Um, it was great to you know end up running, running into you guys again, again, yeah. and then blessing. seeing you on the actor tip, and then you really came in there with it. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, really you know I do my thug thizzle. You yeah, know what you, I mean, I make you it happen. Yeah, Dewan, it's a cold nigga. You, you know, part you got, but that's even greater because you can see the acting person. Rather right. the person play the good or the bad guy, yeah. which you know they always like the bad guy for some reason, even though you might get killed in the movie, not you literally. Right. But they still be like that nigga was cold though. Like right. Denzel watching the train today. 
Right. That mother freaking was a beast. But right. that shit was still and, the bomb. And he I normally played a good guy, too. So he know how to play both sides. Exactly. Which is, yeah. So, and that's the point. It just shows the different characters. So, yeah. you know, as far as that goes. And you're not really that type of nigga. We're not even really that type. You're not that type of nigga. No, he the show the hell Yeah, that. not that type. Yeah. Not, <laughs> not, 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 not now. Not now. Oh, you was before? Uh, you know, we all got past. Oh, uh, we ain't going to talk about that because I ain't talking about the shit DeWan was doing in there. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I, okay, I ain't yeah. that kind of nigga. Yeah, that's no, my never, point. never been that that's kind of nigga. That's my point. I don't fuck I ain't going to give it up. Yeah, I ain't going to give it away. Shit, I'm like, just saying being a cold ass Oh, yeah, no, that's cool. And let's get on. So let's get on my first topic since you're a man. My question, call us. Can y'all call in? 323-293-375. I see some of y'all watching right here on Facebook now. What's up, uh, Hank? Thank you. Love you, baby. I fuck with you, too. Stephanie, uh, Delon, Keisha, and some more people on here. Veronica Cooper. I think I seen my pops on here. Look, my pops on. This little artist, uh, it's his dad, but I call him my pops. Okay. Y'all call in. Stop playing around just watching my cute face and shit. Talk to me, baby. <laughs> okay. 323 293 293 If y'all don't, just give us more time to talk like I already tell y'all. But to get y'all opinion, do you think women cheat better than men? And I'll ask you as a man first. Do you believe women cheat better than y'all? Oh, most definitely. And why do you believe that? Why? Because women... Y'all more sneaky with it. You yes, dig we what are. I'm saying? Y'all definitely more sneaky with it. Like yes. a dude that was the perfect answer. A dude gonna sleep with the broad next door. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? And or the broad that stay behind but you know what I'm saying? He gonna sit with somebody right there in the vicinity. A female gonna go and yeah, y'all be fucking up. Oh, okay. Going. That's the point. No, you just said it. I'm like the bitch next door. Exactly. That's why we be cutting your shit up. Right? And, 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 and catch you Finish right away. Going. You know what I'm My saying? My baby daddy had moved me down the street not far from where he was already staying. Because he felt it was convenient for him. I don't know. I guess so, but I didn't realize that Ty bust his windows on his car on my baby's first birthday. I bust his windows But the point is, what you just said is true. So let's go back to what you were saying, because that motherfucker wasn't even far. Stupid but a female ass. a female going to go on a girl's trip, she going to fuck somebody, and you'll never know it because okay. she ain't never going to see that nigga. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Cold, she ain't up. never going to. All gonna... that pussy so good. All he was supposed to say is that because women are smarter than men. No, all period. he was supposed to say was shit. Just tell me your opinion. He said Damn it, though. It. You said he's sneakier. Sneakier is still being smarter. No. Even if sneaky is looked at in a bad way, I don't give a fuck. If you know how to sneak your ass in the bank and steal some money and get away with it, whether it was good or bad, nigga, you, you were smart. smart. Yeah. Jeez, you okay. Didn't so, That's true. same difference. Same difference, but yeah. But what's your opinion? I said it would have been just more simpler just to say we smarter than men. Men, now, like you say, dumb. Because don't, don't he'll do... the game, but Because, a I mean, like he Not said, enough. you'll be doing some stupid shit trying to mess with her home, girl. Yeah. Somebody so close to her. And that's where we get crazy, like Sam Buster one. Because it's like, nigga, you could have did that anywhere. It's a million women in this Thank planet. You. And you chose to... So, it's personal. You okay. made it personal because now you're trying to... That's too close to home. Okay. You just... You you want me to fuck why you Why do you think us women, since she a woman, let me help you. Let's see if we can help out ourselves. Why do you think us women are smarter than men with cheating? I mean, because women have different justifications on why they cheat. Just to be honest, like women, they'll have more of a excuse for it. A well, reason. he they got more of a reason. Why, exactly. They, well, no, because. It could be anything. Well, this nigga don't work right now. He do okay. is play the video games, or okay. or this nigga ain't satisfying me sexually, okay. and he don't or he don't ever take me out to do nothing. Okay, okay. And, and this yeah. guy right here fly. He and like he to nice. go places, and yeah. he want to take me around the world. And, okay, you know, okay, so it's shit like that. You know, and then but that makes us better than guys because again, at the end of the day, we're sneakier and we're smarter. Yeah, because y'all just is just messy, messy yeah, and dumb. And he'll mess with LaQuisha that got ten kids on the couch. It ain't. They don't yeah, level they up with really that shit. They really don't. They don't level up. They really don't. That's they the really problem right. too. They gonna go just backyard boogie the shit. Like really? You, exactly. You couldn't find a bitch that was working. I'm just saying. So I had another one, a quick one. What if men did what women do? I'm oh, sorry. What if women did what men do? So that's kind of go. Does that kind of fit into the cheating shit? Like we already doing what y'all doing. We could cry us women. Hold on. We cry about men cheating on us all mm -hmm. the time. But we the best cheaters. Yeah. Ain't that weird? Yeah, I mean, y'all y'all gonna weird? get away with it and y'all gonna do what y'all do and the nigga gonna take you back, maybe, if, you know, if yeah. that's that kind of nigga, you know what I mean? Yeah, and sometimes they will because that nigga probably needed to still stay in that house while she was uh, gone, while he was playing video games. Right. You feel me? So he ain't but that goes, away. that topic basically saying, what if women, you know, did what men did? That's like okay. a broad topic because you okay. can say, um, <laughs> okay. you know, 
for me, we're when we try to do what men do, we're viewed negatively. Like yes, niggas can are. fuck a gang of bitches and do what they want, want and the girls do it. She a hoe. Immediately, yep. she's a hoe, yep. she's this, she's that. A man go out and dance, he exotic dancer, we strippers. You get what I'm right, saying? You got to right, understand, right. it's a, it's, it's, it's a double standard. Why do yeah. they give us the standard? It's just a double because standard. Because women and they say they are the pussy, they shouldn't be fucking like that, and the women shouldn't be doing that. Is James that Brown fucked them up with the man's world shit. They really believe it is their world. But so we they, the one created everything. Hello, world, how you doing? Season. But you know they don't and see the, that. And today at church, you know, and like a, uh, this one man called us, still trying to get at me some older guys, which wasn't even nearby on my level. And he wasn't even gonna be a sugar daddy. But the, <laughs> oh, we was at Taco. I was at Taco Mom on the east side, right quick. He said something, 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 and I said something, and he said, "Well, y'all know y'all came from us." And I was like, "Wait a minute, that nigga ran. His spirit knew to run for me because I couldn't hit his ass with the real truth." <laughs> I don't know you guys' religion, but in religion, they do teach us, uh, especially Christianity, that a man, a woman comes from a man real. Yeah. That's a lie. Right. All things come from a woman's womb, and it's the man's sperm that goes to the woman's egg and produces the baby. Mm-hmm. So, you, you you know, my whole point was, I just was elaborating on that, we... Women, we are like Pac said, you got your name from your mo- woman, your game from a woman, you came from a woman. Yeah. You come from a woman. So is that why we smarter? That was my moral of the story. Is that why yeah. we smarter? Because we burp every these motherfuckers. I guess, and but I you mean. you smart your mama. No, just in that situation, is men think with their little head, not their big head. Okay, you know thank you. That's why I like having a man here. That makes, okay. So those are, so, okay, so that's where the fail kind of come in at. Okay, so we smarter. I'm trying to figure this out shit out too. So we smarter regardless, because we know how to be sneaking. But men, that's how why y'all fuck up, because y'all do think with the head. It makes a thousand cents. And, and see, a so woman got to want to fuck you. You know what Exactly, because we know in two minutes that we're going to give a nigga some pussy. Right. That to be honest, nigga try to flirt, we would be like, uh-uh, uh-huh. nigga ain't get no pussy. Yeah, never. Then this nigga <laughs> with a nice car, and she be like, oh, I'm going to give him some pussy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Well, not even that they got a nice car, but I just use that as an example. So, on another note, Yogi, I want to get back into you right now. Okay. What do you got going on? Stop texting that bitch while you with your wife. He is scandalous. No. Girl. <laughs> just I ain't worried. Look up the season. Tell her come get that laundry. Hey, right quick, okay. right quick. Before we do, I want to get into your music. Yeah, yeah. Most definitely. We just dropped what the album. What are you talking about? Did my video Y-O-G. just stop on, on, on Facebook? Okay. So, right quick, while we on that. Uh, I before I get to your, too. you can before I get to you, I, I want to talk about your music and something you got going on. I want to play a video here. Okay. Because let me start us running out of my mouth. I want to play people with a video, give them some entertainment. Yeah, yeah. How long have you guys been married? We've been married for four years. We've been together for fifteen years. Awesome. How did y'all meet? At the DMV, we both both worked at the DMV. Oh, so. good. You met him at work. You know what I'm saying? It's a good part. place you to meet the nigga in there to get GR building his ass and looking for a place to stay with his little funky <laughs> ass but no, I, I always tell her most people they end up dating somebody that they around all the time. You feel? Yes, what I'm you saying? will. They're actually, yeah. that's the best people to if get. If you always at the GR building, that's Something when you gonna to meet yours. a motherfucker. Oh, okay, you stupid. Well, right. Oh yeah, I got you. Yeah, okay. but you was just so happy to be at work at the DMV. <laughs> that part. So, um. We won't get into your relationship like in a bad way, but was it a struggle in the marriage or y'all just was always had that bomb vibe? Because not every man cheat. I'm not be talking about all this, so I'm going to get a couple of husbands. Yeah. I know there's a few men out of all that really are satisfied with I can women. honestly say and we haven't had like no issues with no cheating, no nothing like black that. Black men don't cheat. We Yeah, black oh, men shit, don't cheat, right? Don't no, cheat. no he's not that type of... A nigga just, right now just got the police Really, it's on, on how you were raised and just what type of dude you are. He's just not that type of guy. He ain't no pussy mm-hmm. hound, and that's what turned me that's into it. it. That's I don't, a good thing. A nigga that... Niggas that Hold think on, they... stop. That's the key to us <laughs> ladies. We got to get a man that's not a pussy, pussy hound. hound. That's it. Because that's the only way we ain't, y'all ain't going to cheat. And I realize that if a nigga's a Just pussy always, hound, I mean, it ain't they oh, fault, yeah. though. Yeah, that's all. Dick. You yeah. just said it. You think with your dick. They can't help But when you done had you enough pussy get, in your life. Then you calm down. And you understand that, okay, I, I done had but this old, old, niggas old pussy, pussy young pussy, yellow pussy, black pussy. It's just you said you are not a pussy At one point, you want something more. Did you have started having sex at a young age? Yeah. Oh, okay, see, in the way, that's probably What's good. What's young? I, I, well, a good question. You a boy, like, 15 years old, you was fucking little bitches? I just had sex when I was, on like, 16. Yeah, years. this nigga was fucking at 15. Was you fucking at 13? I know you weren't fucking little bitches at 13. Yeah. Okay, I'll go down that low. But my moral is <laughs> maybe that's why you don't care about it so much. You started young. Yeah. No, no, I just remember some of my pops. I don't pops, care about it so you know, much. You know, some of my pops told me, always stuck with me. Awesome, say it so the other niggas can learn. He said, <laughs> uh, basically, it's always going to be somebody who wants to fuck you. It don't matter if you broke, dirty, homeless. Real it's shit. always going to be somebody who wants to dick. fuck you. So don't worry about that. It's always going to be there. 
That's get your right. money, do your thing. That's you know what I'm right. saying? Create a legacy, do whatever you and do. And a lot of niggas fuck up. They shitting their money all over some pussy. That's all over one. some pussy. That's a good one. Die over, go to jail. Yeah, yeah, everything talking about is that? over some so, pussy. So do y'all do like, are you, uh, we're not going to get into religion. I won't ask that. But do y'all do like literally physically? Because I pray regardless. From the universe, to Jesus, the Buddha, Allah, all of them. Christian, I'll be praying to everything, the ancestors, even the aliens and shit. Yeah. You know, they said they was having the Egyptians build the pyramids. I don't know, but I was praying to them too. No, I'm just kidding. But do you guys literally like pray a lot? Or uh, what foundation do you use to keep the, the family strong? Because prayer really does work and just, just being connected spiritually is what I meant. Do you have a lot of spiritual great connections? Yes, we have a very like he's my best friend. We do everything together. We do pray Y'all like take he's, together still? I'm just playing. We take showers together. I'm just playing. Together, I'm just playing. Um, no, he don't like taking showers with me because he cold in the back. Oh, okay. okay. He cold in the back. That's, That's why he one. don't. He don't. Well, really... <laughs> no, then I'm cold. Shit, I want the warm. Well, anyway. And then the water too goddamn hot for him too. So, exactly. so see, when you been together 15 years, you see him later. You ain't got to do okay. all that little I, shit. I That's that new. <laughs> but what I was saying was, we'll keep you strong. So I'll throw you off. No, what we'll keep us strong is just the communication. Like we key we, thing, y'all. We got it. We talk. If we don't like something, or we, I mean, we talk about everything when we and. The, one thing I want to say is, like I said, we started off working together. Okay. We live together. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So when you want to spend all this, we do everything together. We go out together. We party together. Everything we do is really together. Okay. It's like you have no choice but to tell a motherfucker if you don't like something, you like something, you don't, because you're around each other all the but time. But y'all being open and communicating. We always yeah. open. We always open. But we just, we click. Like, okay. I'm... I'm the yin to his yang. He the yin to mine. Okay, y'all. You know? We're going to get to Yogi now. She said enough keywords. This is what I need, and this is what us women need to stop calling the police on your boyfriends and shit because they think he cheating on your ass, and y'all ain't even married. We got to find us a nigga that ain't a pussy hound. Okay. Somebody that loves to communicate, and that is the yin to our mother sucking yang. That's correct. You know what I'm saying? That, that's a good little shit. Girl, we can no, write a book off that. Because you you are living proof. I yeah. talk about me having two husbands up here. Girl, I had a caller call in. He's, you talking about all about sex. No, I didn't. Nigga, I said I can have one sex and one not. But the point is, I be up here talking about all kind of crazy yeah. shit because it's a single woman. But then so that goes back to communication. So good to hear. No, my point was what well, we women need to seek in a man. And I'm just using y'all as a great example. That's but right. yeah, of course, we do go back to communication. But the point was, I was just taking what she said, and I wanted to give them a moral of the key that's yeah. right. to this that's good right. shit. That's, that's all. Right. That's and make right. what we saying worth something. That's like, correct. y'all get the goddamn yeah. point? I'm a point person. <laughs> y'all get the point? Okay. I ain't talking about no crazy polygamy shit today. Now I'm waiting for my husband. Okay. Where you at, nigga? Y'all all crazy and shit. <laughs> I need to calm down. I had two people tell me, once you get a man, you're going to probably calm down. Well, uh, nigga. No. Where you at? No, because I'm the same way. Ask him. I'm sa- I'm the, I'm feisty. Yeah. I'm a fire sign. I'll be you pumped still up. Feisty? I still, but he knows how to. He just, I don't know. He's the calm to my spirit, so I know how to just when but it's see, too much. We need a perfect come. connection. Yeah. We need a calm to our spirit. But it's yeah. not to change you. You don't need no nigga to come in and change you. When people say that, no, it kind of okay. sound like they be like, oh, you just need a nigga to calm you down. No, I don't need okay. a nigga to do nothing but to fall right in and be able to work okay, with me. And like, thank you, motherfucker. That's, that's what. Drink my coffee and turn up, nigga. Hello, yeah. how you Gals doing? Blood, <laughs> hey, look, we need some Hispanic. Uh, right quick, I'm gonna get to Yogi's music. We need uh, anybody that's Hispanic. I had some people reach out. Like, oh, okay. Y'all wanted me to get to them. I don't yes, need, that's I correct. I can't find where we communicated at. I yeah. looked at emails, Facebook, Instagram. Anybody that's Hispanic, I just thought it was right quick. Please hit me in the DM, baby. Don't try to speak for my number now. for for you. But I need some Hispanic gangsters. To play, looking, yeah. Uh, people, uh, characters. So please hit me up. And if you know somebody, Terry, you was watching. And shouts out to my homegirl, Marilyn, from elementary, if you watching right uh, now. I've seen Marilyn twice, so they'll put your logos and shit. Oh, wow. Kiki Let's, Smooth. Kiki Smooth. Oh, God, I had Kiki Smooth on here before. What about Kiki Smooth? He Mexican. Oh, he oh Mexican. I, can, now I can reach out to him personally. You got Kiki Smooth number? You Let know what? He be changing I, his number so damn look, much. I, and I probably got that's an old one. Look, I'm that's yeah. my guy. I, I, just, so, I know, I know, right? The look, first Mex- Compton me, Mexican rapper. Oh, yeah, this, this is, yeah, this is <laughs> in here. When me and Ricard, when you I get the uh, Roxy with him, uh-huh. I had so many numbers in my phone, but that's yeah. why I need to reach out to Kiki Smooth would be great. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I'm, I, I'm trying to keep asking people I know shit, and then they be moving on their own time. I'm just going to ask motherfuckers that's hungry and yeah. just ready to go. Yeah. Okay. But Kiki, he be down. I think he'll be good. No, Fuck. Kiki would be a super good one. Yeah. He'll be the good head yeah. whichever one we need. Yeah. So on that note, y'all, let's change the vibe. I want to give y'all some music. You, uh, Ramon, let me prepare you, a, a forewarn you beforehand. I'm going to let Yogi introduce it. You see the 100 track? It say 100. Got a cute little brown background with some red writing characterization, cartoon, animation looking stuff. So, Yogi, you have a, uh, a, a project that you're promoting right now. What you do? We, you see we're going back and forth with the yes. topics. And we're going to do a little promoting and stuff. Um, you have a track that you're promoting right now or 
What's going on? The whole album is out right now. Okay. You know and what's the name of that album? Y O G. Y O G. Yes, what, ma'am. And that means. Like a young old gangster, and that's, okay. that's pretty much describing me. Or a lot of people that know me, they don't. Y O G. Nigga, yeah. nobody never said Y O G. They just say O G. Yeah, but he always. That's like why he young. I'm a young. I'm, I'm, I'm a, a young O G too. Yeah. I'm yeah. an old young looking ass too. <laughs> okay. I'm a Y O G. Nigga, I'm like, I'll be on that set. <laughs> that okay. Car, that car. <laughs> right. I like that. Okay. I like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You just threw me off. Y O G. All these niggas out here on the radio. Ain't none of y'all niggas thought of that. Uh, you copyright that. Y'all before gonna get sued. Uh, it's my name. Anymore. It's his name, Yogi. No, that's well, I know it's Yogi. But, the, but you got. But you got to think I'm Yogi. black. I'm black. So most niggas that talk to me, they don't even want to. They so lazy, they don't even want to say the e. They just so say, say hey, Yogi. Yog. Everybody call him Yogi. Yeah. Okay, see, I caught on real quick, Yogi. Mm -hmm. For you can say, okay, got you. Okay, well let's keep that moving. See you. Okay, okay. That answers that because I was like, wait a minute, is that for Yogi? No, it ain't because I listen. Okay. So Y O G got you for the ladies niggas yo y'all niggas that made him call it yo Y O G he even came up with a bomb ass acronym because that sound like a whole some other shit. Way is. So I'm loving it. <laughs> you representing the West Coast? What city are you from? Top. I'm from Watts. Okay, Watts, nigga Tyrese and all of the other people. Watts and shit. <laughs> I just thought of him because I was made by think of. How long have you been doing the music? My whole life. Okay. I've been doing it my whole life since I was a kid. But then, you know, I didn't take it seriously. Okay. I was out there in the streets, and I didn't take it seriously until, you know, we had Def Jam at the table and was doing something big. But then, you know, management kind of took okay. it another route. So we, you know, I said, you know what, I want to take what I learned there and kind of apply it to my own company, but I don't want to be beating no artists. I want to show the artists how to, That's you know what right. I'm saying, get they publishing. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Own they, own they masters, you know what I'm saying? That's and really do it about. ourselves, you know what I'm saying? And, and I always looked at the cats who always did it themselves and, and, and made their own. So that's what That's I wanted right. my company to do is just kind of help the artists and, and, and we just build together under one umbrella. So whether you acting, singing, dancing, modeling, whatever, it still falls under that punch entertainment umbrella. That's what I'm talking you about, like me? some Puff Daddy shit. Uh, so well, not totally. I, well, everybody not that totally, fuck with Puff, they kind of, you no, know. Well, I was say with his faggot ass. After well, but, you know, I, but after we go, wow. I'd watch all them videos on YouTube. Believe me, every artist he had, he fucked over. We ain't gonna leave that alone. Yeah. But that wasn't the point. We yeah. Well, I say Master P shit. Hmm. Or some Nipsey shit. Yeah. yeah. That's a piece of Nipsey. But I just said Puffy because he is an OG. No matter yeah. what the fuck yeah. you want yeah. to say. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That oh, yeah. motherfucker Can't built stop once the... Uh, 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 yeah, that nigga had a concert going on. He's still the shit. Okay. Real talk. Oh, that's... Uh, so I was one little he can't keep no girl, he but you know that's something. Yeah, he can't. He always fucking wow. young girls. Well, they're called cigars, right? It's mm. called a cigar. A beard. It's called a beard. Oh, a beard. Oh, wow. a, beard. Oh, yeah. a beard. A beard is when they're really gay. Yeah, oh, yeah. Fuck, I know. Just to, yeah. Talking about he Jay-Z boyfriend. Ooh. Okay, Yogi. <laughs> uh, oh, that note. Because I never talk about the gossip in the industry, and I was from the start. Almost. Okay. For fuck them. Yeah. Like the Yogi. Yeah, they ain't talking about us shit. Yogi, no, they ain't. I, they Cardi don't... B. I think Cardi B, you a stupid rat mouth bitch. I need to say something about her. I'm okay, put this call up on, right. No, I'm going to put this on YouTube, because that bitch always crying about what somebody got to say. Yeah, but bitch, you rich. I was just playing, I was just playing, yeah, I was just playing when I called her that. I just wanted to say something evil. <laughs> can your Cardi uh, party fans see me and let that bitch talk about me so I get some views? Oh, uh, hello, how you doing? Hello, how you doing, man? Come, help, come down to the I West Coast. About, hey, hold on. Y'all want to be bloods and shit, but y'all don't fuck with where it really come from. Wait, Let we me gonna, be quiet. We're going to get to your video, too, but hold on right quick. What y'all know about the Nicki Minaj on there? She enjoying herself on her line. Her damn boyfriend, Convict, got the damn bleaky sticking out his damn... Clip sticking out his pocket, and That's every motherfucker that went shit. on YouTube, no, no, it's for real. He had it sticking out. What is he, it? Ain't, ain't, ain't he on parole? Exactly. So That's why the dumb YouTubers. Ain't that a violation? Hold on. And the damn YouTubers, you gotta watch what you do, cause the YouTubers nosy ass and supposed to be Cardi B, one of her supposedly fan pages. Went and told the NYPD, the guy, bam, 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 Nicki Minaj. Oh, this is you, Nicki Minaj. My moral of the story is they seen that and started putting it out there, my nigga, and brought the attention to him. Oh. So is he locked up? No, not yet, supposedly. But then she been saying she wanted to retire right after that happened. But let you me hear ask you. About let me yeah, so she retired. It's been since that's asked me a question. Tell me what does happened. that prove? Hey. Well, the, but my point is, we want to get back to your music thing, but I want to did want to talk a little bit about the bullshit because I be watching YouTube like a motherfucker. While <laughs> a nigga read the Bible, I be watching YouTube. But uh, y'all read the Bible. I read comedic knowledge and hieroglyphics and shit. No, I'm just playing. But the point is, is that don't do stupid shit online. Mm -hmm. Nicki Minaj is Nicki Minaj. If she had a regular ass nigga, like if he was her bodyguard and he could carry weapons, that's cool. But really, 
they wasn't tripping. And you could, I can tell she kind of was trying to make him kind of get out the camera a little bit. Yeah. But he got caught slipping. And he yeah. should have did that because these raggedy motherfuckers on YouTube is going to do anything they can to make money off of that uh, monetization. Yeah. No, that was so my that was point. What was, what so was he his, got caught slipping. What, what was the point? Because, like I said, Oh, he you said what was his point doing yeah, that? Yeah, because oh, you he in was a trying room to show with, off. But that's what that's I'm saying. That's what it was. He was trying you to show off. You in a room with your, with your with lady. With Nicki Minaj, period number one. But I'm saying, we in a we in a hotel room. We half naked. We doing what we do. I don't need my pistol in my pocket. <laughs> okay. I got the pistol. Well, she he had on jeans. Okay, I got And it's not in my pocket. He oh, had on okay. jeans, but did period point blank. I don't know what it was, but that was stupid. So with the 100, since niggas don't know how to think they keep the 100 and going to get their ass in jail fucking around on YouTube, mm -hmm. you got a track called 100, right? Keep it 100. Yeah. Keep it 100. Okay, so you motherfuckers need to learn how to keep it 100. Okay. Hopefully y'all can learn something. Now, what was your motivation? We all know that people need to keep it 100, but why Why you Why you want to write a track about keeping it 100? You want to just been better than these niggas' brains? I mean, because these out, niggas out here faking. You know too what I'm much. About? Too damn much. Too you much. know what I'm saying? And I'm not caught. that nigga. Yeah. I'm you not that up. nigga. So I'm just pretty much that's all Keep It 100 is about. You know what I mean? And then, that's right. You know, we, we, we keeping it 100. And, and who produced it this track? Dollar Beats. Dollar Beats. Dollar Beats. Okay, he did the whole know. album. Okay, Dollar yeah, yeah. Beats. Shouts out Dollar Beats. Well, let's introduce your track. Now, like you on the radio, Shaq, like you, I'm Big Boy right now and shit. Angela you, you, you bigger than Big Boy. You know what I'm saying? Well, we in here with know. Bossy. You dig what I'm saying? It's your boy YOG. Keep It 100 featuring Danny C. Yeah, I'm yeah. bigger than big boy. You hear that, nigga? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Y'all, keep it 100 and stop playing. And don't have your boyfriends in the background on your live with blinkies and this, this nigga's an ex-sex offender and then he ain't, he gonna go to jail, bitch. While you okay. talking about retiring for a family. This nigga gonna go to jail probably. Right. So, so y'all keep hope, it 100. Hope she pregnant right now. And stop faking and funk and shit. And stop lying to the girls, guys. And stop being pussy hounds. And go find you a chick and settle down and get married. I'm open for uh, relationships. Hit me up. 293 3375 323. Bossy needs some dates. Keep it 100. We'll be back. Hey. Hey. Oh, we got us one. One for the real ones. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, 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 yo. Hey, homie, I gotta keep it 100. I be tired of hearing all that mumble jump. Now it's time I take it back take to the streets. Back. Gotta keep it all G, so my little homie G. And always keep it real with my real ones. This world's crazy. Everybody got a gun. You can't be talking if you don't think you plan to. You saw them like some closure at the foe. That's why I stay about the way. Cause believe me, these heathens, they don't play. When you all up in the mix, my running like a drip and have you caught up in the twist. And you know your nigga ain't with that. Give me my bag, homie, and that's that And if you don't remember shit If you wanna live long, then you best remember this, my G Keep it 100 and you keep it 1,000 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 Just know, I ain't fucking with no fake niggas, no We ain't fucking with no fake niggas, no I ain't fucking with no fake niggas, no We stay away from the fake niggas so don't start none, it won't be none You better run, especially if the MC behind the gun I'm not the one, I'm aiming high and everything Through life, keep my game tight and my hair right Cause I ain't got time, I'm about my business Get in my way, I shut you down with the quickness I ain't playing, I'm just saying I don't matter what you harass So let's settle this spat, you're all right So deal with that and yeah, I said it You got beef, come dead it I'll be ready and waiting, aiming for your head Ain't no hesitating or debating So when you step in, be careful Don't be misled cause I'm thorough and I'ma hurt you. You ain't bred for it. You ain't bred for it. So quit hating cause it's bread. I'ma keep circulating first ladies. What I am only fucking with the fam from the roof of fake. Keep it 100 and you keep it 1,000. 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 Just know, I ain't fucking with no fake niggas. No, we ain't fucking with no fake niggas. No, I ain't fucking with no fake niggas. No, we stay away from the fake niggas. Stay away from the snake, man. And don't be dealing with no fake niggas. Still. If you see him talking to the cops, best to leave them niggas' eyes first. They flip and they flop. Oh, flip -flop you can't trust as far as you throw. So if I see him in the streets, I don't know. Cause you know I ain't with no fake shit, bro. No fake ass, fake lips, and fake tits, bro. No, I gotta always feel the real thing. I slap that ass and watch the tsunami come back, man. And that's keeping it a hun. If you with that bullshit, then your ass better run. The whole squad keep it cheeto And if you ain't G, this ain't where you wanna be though Nope, cause it's a lion's team And you looking like
like sheep and it's time to eat. One hundred, keep it one hundred, and you keep it one thou. I keep it one hundred, and you keep it one thou. I keep it one hundred, and you keep it one thou. I keep it one hundred, and you keep it one thou. I just know I ain't fucking with no fake bitches. No, we ain't fucking with no fake niggas. No, I ain't fucking with no fake niggas. No. We stay away from the snake, nigga. Keep it 100 and you keep it 1,000. 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 Just know, I ain't fucking with no fake niggas. No, we ain't fucking with no fake niggas. No, I ain't fucking with no fake niggas. No, we stay away from the snake, nigga. Global Street Wave, y'all. We not fucking with no fake niggas. It's a whole bunch of motherfuckers congratulated me. I wasn't gonna go there, but I am. Y'all gonna congratulate me. Mm-hmm. Tell me I'm doing good in the movie. And mm-hmm. y'all ain't went to see it. I ain't seen it. I ain't shared it even. None Nothing. of that shit. Now, the movie was playing a gang of days at the movie theater. So when it comes out, Lord willing, hopefully we get it on some DVDs or something, y'all gonna be able to see it. But uh, right now, we got uh, Cycles in Love. You see the Cycles in Love trailer? Not Cycles in Love. A Familiar Lie trailer. We got a Familiar Lie. That's my next project. I did. I played actually Bossy, uh, best friend to the key uh, character of the film. Shouts out to Boss Curtis. And uh, One Shot Film. And um, uh, King Soul that we're all together working on. That's correct. This is my next project. I get I got line producing and executive producer Ooh, credit on this here. This is gonna be a great. And, yeah, then I'm gonna production. play Cherie. I only got like a few lines. I don't want to focus on a bunch of acting yeah. this time. I wanted to actually get my producer credit. Yeah, that was yeah, a producer. Blessing. Yeah. So a familiar lie. Let's play the little. I want to show a little love right quick to that track to that uh, film that will be coming soon, y'all. Feature Omar Gooden, Trey Ireland. It's a lot of great actors in mm-hmm. here. DJ Hustle. Um, my boy Anthony, he's a bodyguard to a lot of celebrities, and it's just a very great, great experience. Shout out to DeAndre, the uh, gentleman that helped direct it, and everybody, the whole cast and crew. Really had a great experience <laughs> that day. Okay. It was those days uh, filming out there. It was really nice. So y'all check this out. We're not finished. <laughs> We're back, y'all. Just had to right. show y'all. You know, the movie shit ain't stopped. Y'all see, I am not stopping. That's stopped. right. Oh, Instagram. Shouts out to Instagram Live. Y'all can't even see shit, huh? Because I'm live. www.morrismedialive.com or Carlene Corsi on Facebook, y'all. Check me out. Global Streetway. We in the building. So, right now, y'all, let's get on to... Um, I do not like doing a show. Put the camera on you. I don't like doing a show and hold my phone. That's a distraction. It's too much? Well, yeah, that's too much. I gotta talk to the people and shit. We got an- another thing... I wanted to talk about we're going to end out on people who say they don't have time. Hmm. Like, um, as far as a good example, with us going out the Thousand Oaks mm-hmm. right. yesterday. A lot of people. A yeah. lot of people weren't able to make it, but I personally didn't care less about going in no damn Thousand Oaks to be meeting for nobody for shit. <laughs> right. And I made the time. You know because you make time for what you want what to make. You, yeah. Uh, yeah, and I this is something time. that is important to you as well, well that you time. investing in and your time and you feel like, you know what, this is a project I want to be a part of, you're going to make time for it. I didn't really I don't feel like getting out the bed. Shit, I was okay. tired. I could have went to work yesterday. Got a right, couple of overtime too. hours, but I didn't. We went I went and supported my baby, and then guess what? Came up on a little roll. Right, yeah, because I'm going to get her to play. She yeah, you know, I got to get her a little roll shit, you know. Well, talking, <laughs> the woman at the bus stop and That's shit. right. But, Chad, yeah, you know, um, I personally don't have to vent to nobody about that time and shit, but... Uh, has there been times where you guys knew you had the time and you was like, I ain't got the time? 
because that's really the example of why people do it. Like, was it because it wasn't worth your time? Like, some things, the things have to be worth it. And I don't know how we go with this conversation, but take over. You. Yeah, no, like, if you don't, you make time for the things you want to make time for. And when I say I don't have time, really it's like I don't want to deal with that. You know okay. you know how people say that in so many different instances, right? right? When somebody be like, oh, yeah, call your phone and be like, did such and such say that you said this about, girl, I ain't got time for that. That's something that you don't want to make time for, Thank right? You, you don't want to make time for the negative and the bullshit and the go back and forth. We too grown, right? Thank you. Then you got some stuff where it's like people be like, well, you know, such and such over here, she been sick and don't nobody go and visit her, but I just haven't had time grandma to get over there to see her but you you need to make time yes, you know what you I mean good for things like that because my granny is 92 if I don't make the time and then I lose her then I'm be that's when you be yeah. want to climb the casket but that's you didn't make time. the time you didn't have time so it's certain things like that now with the phone calls sometimes I just don't have time because you don't want to okay, talk to people confess. about when the same I haven't been to see my granny Barry on a while and I've had plenty of time I always roll down Inglewood but right. I just ain't went by there yeah see to make the time. You haven't made the time. Of course, I'll, you know, we can talk to our dead people and our family members that are gone, like their God or mine, but I ain't made the time yeah, for that. Just to I go look and that. just chill. You yeah, know what I mean? Before I keep saying I'm going to go pour out some little liquor for it and shit, and I still ain't winning it. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's true. Yeah, just true like that. Well, that. I can't. Mine is in the wall, so I don't My know. My baby in the wall, too. I was well, can we pour? I was going to pour it out in the grass. I was about to say, because then, yeah. As you at the top one, the top, top one, the grand view. Uh huh. In the Mazin, girl, yes. My whole family is in there. The outside wall over there by the back. No, wall. it's inside that little where you. Oh yeah, have... mine is where you go up there to the top, and then you know you still outside. Oh okay. The wall. No, so we okay. inside the little. So we need to make a trip to go visit our good friends and shit. That's what I'm saying. You got to okay. make, well, make the time. You got to make the time. So you, brother, on a note with the time, you do a lot of things from the music to the wife. Do y'all have kids? No, not yet. Okay, cool. So thank God y'all got some time and ain't worried that. When is the time that you felt like you should have? What is something you felt you should have made time for? I guess that's the best way to ask something. Myself. Good one, because we don't do that enough. Yeah. You know, that's that's Put why that I was able to, you know what I mean, uh, even do the album, because before I was always like, ah, stop, whatever I'm doing, like if you, if I fuck with you, okay. I fuck with you, you know what I'm okay. saying? So I'm going to stop whatever I'm doing, Put that on the back burner because I can always do this. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna come and help you with your project. Do whatever it is you need done. And I found myself like I kept. I, I got to stop putting myself on the back burner. There I gotta make go. time for me. For you know what I'm saying? And then that's what I did when I Makes when I sense. sat down and did this album. I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna just do some shit. And it was I didn't have no plan. I just okay. I just said, you know what? I just want to do some shit that I want to listen to. That's right. And that's what I did. You know Makes what I mean? sense. Mm. Makes a thousand. I'm gonna sense. have to jump in here though okay. because he. I'm so laughing inside that he said make time for himself. See, he's saying that that's speaking measures, right? Because, see, my husband is more of a, like, at-home person. Okay. He could be able to just sit at home, chill, or be in that studio 100 hours a day okay. and just be working and work. And I like to go out. I like to party. I okay. like to do. And then I'm, he always say, well, babe, we can't make it to everything. I'm like, but well, we have to make time exactly. to go see our friends sometimes because now our, we in the valley and they like, oh, y'all up in the valley. Y'all don't want to come okay. down to the party and content. Y'all never come out to. He never wants to get in the free, on the freeway and make time. Okay. So sometimes go visit our family members okay. and see other people and stuff. He don't like, ah, it's too far. You don't drive. I do all the damn right. driving. Okay. All he got to do is get in the passenger seat. But see, he's not road. motivated because it's not exciting him like that no, music is. No, not even is, that. Huh? It's just like normally so, we doing something. We working. You know what I'm saying? And and, and it's not see, work when you love what you it's do. It's always working. But see, no, but it's not work when you love what you do. Because you still can make time, though. You yeah. still have to make time for the other and stuff. But you still can make, not to defend her, but that's the whole point. This is a good example right here. But he's talking about but working. And so when is it that you're going to stop working to take time out to go visit or go out with her have somewhere? Fun. We do, but we just can't do it all the time. Because so you see, do? when so I do put that do? to the side. Y'all don't even do enough, right? Not enough. Okay, so y'all finna get He's going to make some time this yeah. damn week. So okay. when is it you going to make time for her to where even if it's not going to visit the family, y'all just go to the beach and have some Subway sandwiches okay. and she makes some sandwiches. Y'all get a little bottle of Moscato and some fruit. That's right. You go rub her feet and shit. Yeah, hello. And might, might get you some head, nigga, at nighttime okay. for the police come out scanning the Navy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Maybe. Hey, so yes, when you maybe. gonna make some time? Oh, I always got time for that. Okay. Oh, so, I, that's see, it. Uh, that that ain't that shit. Because getting y'all business seem like in front of the whole audience is big work. Okay, <laughs> doctor. Y'all know I'm Dr. Ruth. Now, Lady Pockets out the building. I'm Dr. Ruth. So awesome. So what you gonna do 
in your heart, because you see she had a chance. That was her. She just, I'm now I'm telling her. Said, that's what, she just that's took a chance to try to bust you out and say, nigga, you are making time for her. Is mm-hmm. what she was saying. She, was just she was trying to say, hold on, be quiet. I'm helping you. I already helped you. You finna get time this week. Shut up. I already helped you. So she was trying to like save with the people and all that and then her. So what you gonna do, however you gonna do it, I don't know what it is. She gonna give you some head because I said it. So that's gonna make it more exciting <laughs> because of course she give you head. That ain't the point, but she gonna be like, nigga, Fossey said, you make the time and that's gonna be funny. Y'all gotta bring it. Like, 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 bring me up. <laughs> Be like, here go that head. Just do that. Because I'm another woman. So just be like, here go that head. <laughs> so what you going to do, stop trying to make so many motherfucking beats, what about getting rich and all this goddamn label shit and all this motherfucking what everybody going to do shit. and all this shit and all of this music shit. You go to work and make that money, though, because we got that job shit be fucking us up sometimes. Oh, yeah. But we need to pay the bills. Yeah. So after the work shit is over with, just give her a couple of hours. Nigga, that's it. Oh, I You feel that. me? Shut up, because you don't. She wants you to take her somewhere up to a child. <laughs> and you're going to get some head. <laughs> That's the key thing. Okay? Right? Right. right? There you go. She just said, and she agreed. See how he's still stubborn? Yeah. Is that that's what I'm hearing? The right Gemini now? a little bit. No, I'm hearing that because all he have to say is that bossy, I'm gonna take my baby out some time this week. Oh, because yeah. he wanna Damn. say I do. He oh, said already. he said I do. She just said in front of the whole damn little <laughs> bit of the audience and the rest of the hundred thousand is gonna watch that <laughs> share it and she shared a thousand times. Uh, that you need to make some damn time. So he gonna do it. We're gonna leave it to him. I'm gonna do it. And in the midst of that, you gonna write a nice song. Have you wrote a song about Danny? Oh yeah, I wrote a couple songs. About okay, it. good. So he did make time for that. Bitch. Yeah, he did. Hey, I, I mean, shit, you in there? You better make something about y'all. Did she massage you? Cause women be slacking. They don't be massaging their men. He don't like me massage him. Cause one time I massaged him, he was fucked up for a couple of days. Had to go to the doctor. Did you the rough or I guess I popped some, did something. So he just be like, no, I be offering. He be like, um, oh, you too rough with your area ass. She too rough. <laughs> But how uh, you doing so, everything yeah. else good? He don't want my massages no more. Now, before we leave out of here, we got a little bit of time to go. Danny, what city you from? Inglewood. Oh, okay, Inglewood. Crenshaw and Imperials. Uh, Mac-10 and this bitch. West Side Connection. So, um, you do radio, you do music. Yes. You're going to end out on a track, which is called... Da Vinci. Da Vinci. Cool. So you do music with your husband also? Yes, I do. Okay, cool. Yeah. Good partnership. Make music, make love. He just now needs to take his ass to the park with some champagne and fruit so he can get him some good head and give her some time and stop making all this damn music. And they're going to be all right. That's correct. And then their marriage is going to stay straight because they've been straight. Then we've been that? straight. We're you know straight. Yeah, we straight. Keep, we're going to keep that uh, very uh, positive. But I do thank everybody for tuning in today. I want to make sure I play y'all video in a couple of minutes. Of it, at least yeah, yeah. Thank second. you for having me. So yes. I, I appreciate thank that. My you. main Us. thing that I do. A lot of people don't have time. Uh, I never really had a problem with booking interviews, but I just learned that for me, I get better uh, views off of t- having topics and just conversating about Conversa- real shit, yeah. whether they call it or not. Definitely. They're going to learn something more because I get to that chance with me and my people to talk more and get our point across. But um, I do always make the time for me to think of different things and topics, and I study to feed the people. So whatever you guys are doing, as far as first with your marriage, or your relationships, even your dating life. You feel me? You got a bunch of dates. Make time for all the dates and keep all the ladies and the gents happy. You feel me? But we're going to end on a note of always find that time. That's right. Some things you shouldn't have time for. But a lot of things we do have to have time for. And you find the time. And don't let opportunities pass you by because you're around the wrong people distracting you from that. You know, get getting the time to do what you need to do. Right. I don't want to talk too much of another big rest in peace to Big Nuke. I don't know what happened to the brother and how he actually died. I believe he got shot. I don't know what the hell happened. But the black on black crime, um, you know, I'm not even going to talk about that right now because the show's over with. And uh, niggas need to stop killing each other because the government poisons us with the fucking food, the air, and all kind of shit. So why the fuck is we help killing each other off? You know what hell I'm saying? No. And, uh, it's just a lot of shit going on, but find the time to study. That's what I want to say. Anything that you're doing, your craft, study that shit. Ain't not going to come to you, but another piece of gas out your ass when you eat and you got a fork. No, I'm just playing. That was stupid. Let's say something stupid. It wasn't that funny. Y'all didn't laugh, so fuck that joke. We're going to throw that one down the drain. So that's what the comedians do. They say shit, and then it wasn't funny. They're like, okay, I ain't going to use that one no more. Okay. But yeah, real, real talk, y'all, find the time. Whatever you're trying to do, this brother has a business. This young lady does radio. We're doing the movies. We got to do yes. these uh, parts. We got to uh, study our lines. Got to find the time, y'all. To let people know where they can find you so we can get up out of here. Yes, I'm on Instagram, First Lady Danny C. You can also find me on Facebook, First Lady Danny C, as well. Okay. 
And they can find me on everything at Punch E-N-T. That's P-U-N-C-H-E-N-T. You can find the album at yogi.herenow.com. And it'll take you to your favorite streaming, downloading platform. That's right. And shouts out to my baby Laron back there looking out for me on the engineer like he my DJ. Shouts out to the uh, porters for the platform. And we love you, baby. Shouts out to my man, Mr. Suckin' Morris. Mr. Motherfucking Morris. We okay. love you and we miss you, man. You didn't even cuss with your name, Mr. Morris, but I fucking miss you. I almost cried out there looking at your picture on the wall. And shout out to Porter. She got some um, art out there, pictures, and I'm one of the damn pictures on the wall. Made yeah. it feel special. Uh, shout out to the Morris Media Studios for the opportunity again, y'all. Da Vinci, introduce your video. We out of here, y'all. And stay loving yourself. At the end of the day, find time for yourself like he was doing. Then he gonna find it for his wife. Just introduce right. your video. This is Yogi Da Vinci off the YOG album featuring Danny C. That's right. Husband and wife duo, y'all. Hello. We be out of this, and we are gonna see y'all another time. Got my blinders on and tunnel vision about the bag Since they gon' make us pay bills until the toe is tagged Seriously, I keep it serious about the money Cause money talking money, best believe ain't nothing funny Ain't no laughs, ain't no shits, ain't no giggles They twisting that paper but don't get caught up in the middle Telling them riddles, telling them lies Hearing them paradiddles of bullets They do not tickle, them niggas really do die Mothers really do cry, laying they babies in the dirt How many done died over working for being overworked? Stressed out It's all about them dollar dollar bills Just know them dollar dollar bills can get you dollar I die like stretch down For real though It's not about how you feel bro Call it embezzlement It's still still a no That means still. everybody's out to get a grip Does that mean I'm crazy flip? Cause all I think about is chips My mind is blind at times I can't think of nothing but the gold If it ain't about the paper Then I really just don't know just don't know, My bro. mind is blind at times I can't think of nothing but the gold If it ain't about the paper Then I really just don't know I don't know Punchy and T, yeah, I'm pressing so you know I gotta represent treasure up when I cash a check They say give it to her Cause Danny C get much respect and ain't taking less I stay in control so I ain't gotta stress Just call me blessed with finesse That's why I do it the best Why you stunning and you front like you came from nothing Gum steady bumping We know you out here treasure hunting You out your lead And you intrigued by the life that I lead But can't compete you out here in a daydream, I never sleep The day I do, I don't eat So you just keep playing, make believe I'ma get this cheese my And money. when you see me in the streets, you already know, you already know. Ain't no coming in between me and my cash flow cash So flow. you can keep all the greeting and speaking If it ain't about no dough, I don't wanna know Bro, I don't wanna My know. mind is blind at times I can't think of nothing but the dough Nothing but the dough, man If it ain't about the paper, then I really just don't know I really don't know, my no My mind is blind at times I can't think Nothing but the dough. Nothing but the dough. If it ain't about the paper, then I really just don't know. My mind is blind at times. I can't think of nothing but dough. If it ain't about the paper, then I really just don't know.